Yeah. Ali, would you do my hair? No squirt. Pretty please? No. Why not? What's wrong? She won't do my hair. Here, let me do it for you. Square, let her do her own hair. It's okay, I don't mind. If you're always doing it for her, how is she supposed to learn? It looks good. Thank you. Hi, girls. Alice, honey. Alice. I'm heading into town to get the groceries for the week. I've already cooked dinner, Haley helped me. So can you please do the dishes before I get back? All right, thank you. Come on girls, I'll take you to the park. That was the Big Cat Band playing Jukebox Shake. I'm really gonna do We interrupt dishes. our normal broadcast now to bring you breaking news. Sightings of an unidentified flying object have been spotted in girls, the area the of Little Bark Town. We have Alice, physicist, please check on the girls this afternoon. To talk about the UFO sighting. The government has stated that the UFO was actually a weather Did you hear about the UFOs? That's so crazy. On the outskirts of Little Bark Town. Despite the government's attempt to hide this occurrence, we have collected data that leads us to believe that this may be a real alien phenomenon. Any information leading to the whereabouts of extraterrestrial life will lead to a significant monetary UFOs. reward. If anyone hears or sees any activity, please report <laughs> to myself, Dr. Kane really. McCurdy, at the Industry of Nuclear Power and Although, Extraterrestrial Research Center. Getting that award money would be kind of swell to have. Get out of this place. <laughs> What was that? Hey, Crete! What do you think you're doing over there? Hey, Oddball. I said, what do you think you're doing here? I am observing. You know, I don't care who you think you are, but you gotta go. I am not of your species. What do you mean, like an alien or something? If that is what you call us, then that is what we are. <laughs> Did I say get out of here? I meant get on inside. Uh, come on. Come, let us go inside. Okay, so over here is where we have the kitchen. We got like, you know, utensils over here. We got, you know, all kinds of stuff. And over here we have the uh, dining room table. You know, it's just our ordinary day kitchen. Nothing too fancy about it, eh? What are you doing? It's a knife, it's sharp. That's why you're bleeding now, because you cut yourself, okay? No, just uh, stay here, keep yourself entertained, but don't touch the knife anymore, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be right back, okay? Yeah, hi. I'm calling to report some alien activity. Can somebody come down here, please? Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. I said alien activity going on here at my house, okay? 2324 in the drive. You got that? Okay, good. Don't forget to bring my reward, okay? Alright, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, where'd he go? Oh no. Not out the door. Would you like to try? You out here all by yourself? Yes, sir. No, uh, look, I'm trying to find someone, so bone rubber. Hey, now, hold on a sec. I didn't say you could leave just yet. What you doing? How get about off we chat me. a little, huh? You get lost, pal. I'm so teasing. Get off. All right, you asked for it. Is that what I think it is? What did 
you do to him? I froze his mind in an everlong state, prolonging his stasis so that he'd be frozen unless act upon by kinetic or mental stimulation. He will now be frozen as his these strands of DNA are forever elongated so that he cannot be freed. Yeah? Yes. Uh, let's go. That's just the doorbell, okay? You sit down. I'll be right back, okay? Ah, oh, yes, I'm Dr. Keaton McCurdy. I'm answering your phone call. I'm the nuclear physicist, and I believe you have a disturbance here that I'd like to go investigate. Please let me in. Uh, no. Uh, I think you got the wrong uh, house not yet. necessary. I believe this is the right number. This is 2324. Oh my gosh, is that a UFO? A UFO? <laughs> this world seems cruel, yet kind and innocent. Thank you for not turning me into your officers. Don't worry about it. Where are you going? To return home and tell my brethren what I have observed today. Thank you, Alice. Before I got home. Oh yeah, Ma. I, you know, felt like doing something kind for you. Well, thank you. I love you. You're welcome, Ma. Ollie, will you fix my hair? Sure thing, Squirt. 